It does look awesome. Way to so go, we're at church guys. making an advent leaf. <laughs> What's with three red ones in a row there? Yes. Kind of, maybe we don't I feel like we just needed a dazzler and it would be good. You know what I mean? These two. Seriously. It's okay. kind of free. We need to add some bling. Um, this is our advent leaf, guys. I can barely, like, maybe two women are stronger. Yeah, I know. They're know. tucked in. Oh, my God. It doesn't matter. It, it'll be better, though. Uh, I like it a lot. Me too. And so here is the Thanksgiving happening. This is Swedish rye bread, which Eric's family makes because it's good. <laughs> His grandma is Swedish, was Swedish, and that was a bread that that was a bread that she would make, and all of his cousins and aunts and mom they all make it, and sister they all make it. So Eric makes it too. Raise your hand if you know what that is. Boom, 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 boom. What is what is that? Oh, oil pie really? Crust. Oil pie crust on the on the. I'll have it. No, it's mine. Joshua, I said, I know. oil. I'll have it. I'm saving it to put a little bit of apple in it. No, you're not. And then bake it. Make a little. Then. Pie. Wait, where's the apple bells? Don't judge my kitchen, y'all. I don't want to hear it. This is what that filling is going in. This is what Eric has started cooking. This is what he's already finished cooking. What other stuff that? Oh. There's some mac and cheese and look here. I mean it's kind of we got some We got some mac and cheese. No, I can't see it. He done made oh, he's made, made mac, mac and cheese. There's some mac and cheese. Dressing. There's cornbread dressing in that. And there's the turkey. There's the turkey getting, getting ready. ready. Corn souffle up there. There's a lot of food. He's been cooking all day. This is my contribution. The reason I've been cooking all day is because now I don't have to cook all day tomorrow. <laughs> this is true. This is my contribution, y'all. I made a sweet potato pie. I'm going to put it in the shells now. Eric made the crust. See, he does pretty much everything. <laughs> he made the crust, and I'm just going to stuff the pie. And Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Hope you are having a good day i know it's probably been super busy just like ours has been but happy thanksgiving to you i am 
excited to throw down and eat all this delicious food that Eric has been cooking. I made the pies, but he made the food and I'm going to show you. He made macaroni and cheese, collard greens. He was going to make green beans. No, I think he made the green beans. He made Swedish rye bread. He made corn souffle. He made mashed potatoes. He made the turkey. Of course, he went in because it's Eric and he always goes in. So, yay, I cannot wait to eat. But we have some sad news too, and that is that Eric's grandpa passed away yesterday. We got the news yesterday anyway. He passed away the night before or maybe sometime early morning yesterday. So it's been kind of a whirlwind. And I think cooking actually helped Eric just kind of have something to focus on so that he didn't really have to think about it. But yesterday was a hard day. It was a hard day. And today, after we eat, we are getting in the car and driving. We're going to head to Tulsa, stay there overnight, and then head to Iowa to be with the family and kind of work out the plans and then have the funeral. So it's hard. It's a hard Thanksgiving. You know, Thanksgiving was also the holiday that Grandpa came to mind because he would sing that turkey song. I'll post a video, um, a, a link to the video where I showed you guys last Thanksgiving where he was singing it. Um, so it's just hard. It's a hard day, but we're choosing to be thankful and we're choosing to praise the Lord anyway. And we're going to enjoy ourselves here and then we're going to head up to see family. It's going to be great to see everybody, even though the occasion is really hard, really painful. Eric's been blessed to have three of his four grandparents until now, until this year in his 40s. And um, not everyone has that blessing. I lost my grandparents when I was in my 20s, I think, is when the last one passed away. And so it's been a real blessing to have grandma and grandpa and um, Eric's other grandfather. So this is tough. It's a tough blow, but God knows. And he's faithful, so we're trusting him. Let me take you all out here so you can see what we've been doing. Look, there's still boxes and stuff. But we got to go. We got to do what we need to do. Is the table set? Yep. Uh, yep. Oh, you didn't get a picture of the turkey. No, did you? you started cutting them up. I didn't know you wanted to take a picture. The bird is cut. Hey. Hey. <laughs> it's okay. It wasn't at all. Someone just bent it. <laughs> you should just put everything back where it's supposed to be. And then flat like it. Right? Well, just stick it see. to the bird. This was here and this was here. <laughs> Don't do that. Anyway, tell them how fast you cook a turkey. I cook this turkey in an hour and 15 minutes. 12 pounds. And it's going to be delicious. Eric cooks his Thanksgiving turkeys in record time, and they are always amazing. He, he, cooks, he cooks his yeah, The skin is crispy, and the meat is tender. So the table isn't totally laid yet, but I will show it to you when it is. I'm so excited. Meanwhile, remember I told y'all we were unpacking, so it's coming together. <laughs> it's coming together, but it is what it is. Oops, I'm actually in my room. We are nowhere near done organizing or even finished unpacking. So it's still kind of taking shape, but we're happy to be home. What you got? Cornbread dressing. Ooh, That's mashed potatoes with some skin potatoes. on. Smashed potatoes. Corn souffle. Mac and cheese. Turkey. Rolls. Green beans with some onions thrown on top. <laughs> and collard cream. I haven't done it today. Oh, and there's some gravy. There's the chair. Oh, I thought we were going to have a dessert presentation too. Well, dessert is scattered out across the... Then we've got There's the rye pie. bread. There's a pie. Why haven't we put it to pie too? It's up there. It is not all in the same place here. We can put it down here. People think you bought this, but this right, is Right, you need to take that plastic off. That's one of my pies. Here is... And I'm going to make some... My apple pie. Away. One of my sweet potatoes. I made two. Actually, I made two and a half. Forget the mini pie. Yes. This is the mini pie, mate. <laughs> Just super cute. So, we're going to eat. Morgan, play that story. Play the story. I want to hear it. Hey. What, girl? and then uh, just Casey Masterpiece, brown sugar and honey.
I keep it pretty simple. Just clinch y'all. So we made it to Des Moines, guys, and had a good night seeing all the cousins and aunts and uncles at Eric's grandma's house. And even though the occasion is sad, it is sad, but everybody is having a good time and kind of reminiscing and telling stories and having fun, and that's the way it should be. So I'm looking forward to a good few days of getting together, being with family, and um, we will definitely shed some tears, but I think we're going to have a good time catching up and reminiscing and being together. I know that Grandpa would definitely want that and love it, and so that's what we're going to do. Okay, but it's late. We've been on the road a good chunk of the day. I'm in the bed. I'm going to sleep, so I'll talk to y'all later. Of course, Black Lives Matter. All lives matter, but Black lives are the ones that are being lost right now.